You read the title, you saw the thumbnail. This is Strange Science. Bull sharks have the uncanny ability of adapting to and surviving in both salt and fresh water. Their keen osmoregulatory systems control the amount of salt permitted into the body relative to the external environment. In normal fish, this system is fixed. Any increase or decrease in water-soluble compounds will either dehydrate or suffocate them. But in bull sharks, kidneys can flush this extra salt out through the process of urination to equalize with the osmotic pressure of fresh water or retain it on command. The ability is carried only by a special few species of shark, including the river shark seen here, However, it is most notable in the bull shark because of its infamous aggression. It is inconclusively believed that shark spikes in testosterone lead to this erratic and aggressive behavior, but that's beside the point. There have been some very, very strange shark attack and sighting locations around the world. Some of these you will not believe. People often rule out sharks as potential threats in freshwater lakes and rivers, not that I blame them, though major and even deadly shark attacks happen every year in these environments. In 2014, a boy was attacked by a bull shark in Louisiana's own Link Pontchartrain, a freshwater lake. These attacks are not isolated to a specific area either. In 1955, a man was reportedly attacked by a bull shark in Lake Michigan. It's also a freshwater lake, but which has an over 1,000 mile trek to the nearest ocean. I should note the controversy involved with this claim, however, bull sharks have not been found in waters north of Massachusetts, and the only entrance into Lake Michigan from the ocean is via this entrance, the St. Lawrence Seaway, several hundred miles north. But what else would attack a man in Lake Michigan? There are other more credible accounts. In 1916, multiple attacks in New Jersey's freshwater Matawan Creek were believed to have been the result of an aggressive shark. A single aggressive shark, I might add. Several of these bizarre attack stories, particularly in freshwater, have been carried out by individual rogue sharks. However, what drives these creatures far up freshwater rivers and lakes is still unknown. One theory is tied to shark adolescence and the need to avoid larger predators. A bull shark was also found over 2,000 miles up the Amazon River in the country of Peru. That's Peru. This country, the Andes are here, that's where glaciers form. A bull shark here is quite strange. So how about this one? A bull shark in the state of Illinois, USA. FYI, Illinois is here. Two commercial fishermen hooked the shark much to their surprise. This meant that the bull had to swim all the way up the Mississippi River from the Gulf of Mexico. But why? What exactly compelled it to do so? We may never know why these sharks do these things, but it is super, super sketchy. On a side note, we generally regard bull sharks as apex predators, right? Free roamers with endless tropical to subtropical boundaries and no major enemies. However, occasionally, thanks to the fact that they do swim up these lakes and streams, they've been attacked by crocodiles. Try picturing that. A crocodile attacking a bull shark. I tried googling it. Eh, there's not much out there. Now I want to take the rest of the time in this video to open up a dialogue with all of you. I want you all to leave a suggestion, if you can, in the comments below about what you would like to see in the future for this particular playlist. I, I consider this almost like a fallback in a sense. It's what the channel started with and I want to keep it going in some way. I like learning about this stuff. It's why I say thanks for learning with us at the end of every, uh, every single video because there's always something for somebody to learn and oftentimes I'm having to learn uh, at least something about the topic at hand uh, before I make the video. So if you have a suggestion, leave that in the comments below. I do appreciate it. You'll see more of these in the future. Meanwhile, Blue Sky is waiting on the graphics card blocks. When those get here, then part four will also be here. If you like this video, be sure to give it a thumbs up, thumbs down for the opposite. Click the subscribe button if you haven't already. I will catch you in the next video. This is Salazar Studio. Thanks for learning with us.